My name is Alpha Jobari. I'm from Sierra Leone. Okay, so you've been uh, on a very long journey right now, yeah? Really. When did you start? We start at 12 o'clock. In uh, living cost? Yes, we start at 12 o'clock midnight. And uh, since when have you been away from Sierra Leone? Since then, we saw you people at 8 or 7. We don't know the time because we don't have any item to locate it. Um, and what happened on your journey? Anyway, our journey was just good. We thank God because we come safely. Nothing happened to our boat. We saw many things. We saw even this uh, Libya people. But God just gave us the direction to balance them, you know. So it's just God who directs us the, the destination. So the, I thought it was the day that we were people were chatting for. Um, how did you feel um, when yeah, like we arrived and uh, you knew everything is going to be okay? No, as you can see, we are very happy because we see the thing we're searching for. It's just like if you people searching for something, then you find it automatically, you can know how you feel, you know. So we are very excited. Do you know where you want to go from now on or any plans, like hopes or...? As for now, I can know. I don't know where I can go. Maybe I could guess, but I, I don't know the actual um, uh, destination where I'm heading to. Only know I'm going to Europe, but I don't know the country where I'm going to now. Um, do you have family? Eh? Do you have family? If? Yeah. Yes, I have my family. Uh, they are in Sierra Leone. They are stay, staying? Or? Yes, I have my mother, but my father was a late man now. Yeah. Do they, like, does your mother know uh, you're, you're safe or? Um, Since three months now, I don't have any communication with her, really. Because this is not my first time. I was in prison. So from the prison, I spent two months in the prison. That prison they call Tajura. I hope you people know about that. So I spent there two months during the first month time. So I came out. Then I follow the journey again, just to try and I won't be give up. <laughs> Why have you been in prison? Uh, do you know? Like it just happened? Or? Well, we ca I can say my reason to be in prison. Even me, I can't tell because they just catch us in the sea, then they take us in prison. We don't know our commitment. We don't know what we commit. So. I can't tell about that. So they detain us even to deport. They said my country don't have embassy here because my mother was she was crying, come back since no way so come back, come back, come back. So, so I spent there two months no deporting. So you know anywhere anywhere bad people there must be a good people again. So one man who free me from the prison, he take me to his house. So I stayed there two or three weeks. So I lived there, come the join this my friends again. So we started. So how how did it free you? Like uh, what did you do? I did not do anything. So because I'm all in the prison, and we are, every people come, they leave me there. They meet me, they go, they meet me. So I will become a rec well recognized person. So all of them knew me now. They even told me as the caretaker of the prison. So if they bring something, I will distribute the things, give anyone, you know. If they bring new people, for example, if they catch people from the sea, I'm the person who will be taking care of them, show them this, this is the way you do, this is the way you do. So I'll be recognized in the prison. Yeah. All the police know me. So this is the way they, use, they free me. Yeah, you said you, you never gave up hope. That's uh, really, really impressive. I can't even imagine what you've been through. And you're still here and smiling. And like, what uh, keeps you going? What, what, is, um, what gives you hope? I think that my things, I said, what, uh, 
once there is life, there must be hope. So I can't be, I can't give up. I'm still young. <laughs> they said, if you try plan A, it doesn't work. Don't matter yourself. The alphabetical are 26. So try the 25 again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. <laughs> yeah, I'm really happy for you. Yeah, thank you, sir. <laughs> yeah. Do, do you have a phone number, a number of your of your mother? And yes. You can reach her. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I can reach her, but you know, in Libya, we international call cannot go through. Yeah, yeah. Then my mother again, she's very old, so she don't have this internet facility. Then she from the village again. She stay in a the village. They don't have network. I only call my friends. But you, there will be a way to tell her. Yeah. Yes, if I the, if I have any information, if I told my friends, they would, they won't mind. They will go and meet her because they are my relative again. Some of them are my cousins, you know. So I hope. Any information they have from me, they will go straight to her. Yeah. The people who were with you on this boat, uh, how many did you know before? This, the people that we came with, I only know three. Three? Yeah. Yes. They are from Guinea. Mm -hmm. Yes, so I only know them because we speak the same language. We have a local language that we call Fula. So we speak those languages, so that's why we come closer. And um, the people uh, who, who like, organized the boat, who gave it to you, uh, what did they uh, say to you? I you know, that's the talk they used to tell us. It's usual. Anytime you, they used to give you boat, it's the same talk they tell you. That you people will enter. It's washal, tool washal, you know. But some people lie. But we can say, yes, really, he tried, but it's God who do the whole thing for us because we can't expect it. Because the way we, we jam you people, I even can't imagine how it be. Uh, so the man really, he tried, but I don't even know him. So um, you basically, you, you know that uh, there's a high risk. Huh? You, you, there's a high risk when entering the boat, you, you know. Yeah, yeah, we know. But, you know, we, we, come, we don't matter. We, yeah. and we don't care about that because no matter how you live, you must die. The only thing we fear is this Libya people. The punishment is, as I can show you now, I have many marks from prison, different punishment. You know, it's. It uh, don't really need to explain it out. Yeah, we don't fear this water. We fear the Libyan people because no matter how you live, you must die. So, if you can ask me, is that I have to say? And uh, if there is a message you can send to the European people, what would you tell? Uh, the only thing I have to say is for them to have mercy on us because we don't know. Yes, we swell. It's illegal. It's illegal to drink our lives. But no way now. So they have to accommodate us. That's the thing. We're asking for mercy from them. So if you can ask me, that's my message to send to the European Union. We need the help, really. As you can see, we don't use to this weather. The place is very cold and uh, it's really bad. It's facing lots of difficulties. Now, four or five days in this ship, the place is very bad for us anyway. My hope to in the future is to become a someone. I want to be someone that people will admire at. That is my hope. And actually, it will happen by the grace of Lord. <laughs>